What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another week, another episode of Star Wars Chat, where we talk The Mandalorian. And on this week, you know, as always, we're going to be talking spoilers and all that other crazy stuff, so stay tuned for that. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Oh my god. Welcome back everybody to another episode. If this is your first time on the channel, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all of the content. And with me as always breaking down this latest episode of The Mandalorian is my fellow bounty hunters, starting with my man Seth. What is up, brother? Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys always tell me to keep it simple, so I'm just like, hi, everybody. Okay. Low-key stuff. Low-key. That's, it. That's low. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. We got the lovely Nilda, our fellow night owl. How are you? <laughs> okay. I'm, tired. I'm, like, Seth, I'm so tired. I literally went to bed at like three in the morning and uh -huh. then had to get up at seven. So oh. it was not fun. All right. Yeah. All right. We have a de energized Nilda. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I looked at my wife this morning when she woke me up at 7 30 and I was like, this is not the way. <laughs> I thought Seth was going to throw punch his wife today. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> We're a little violent for the beginning of the episode, but we'll get yeah, to that. Yeah, no, right. Bit. <laughs> <clears throat> we got the raging mando in the house what is up frankie what's up man what's up uh great time today great great time today got my first hot toys nice and what? uh get to hang out with you guys so oh. yeah man always frankie good just broke, what, what do they call it breaking the fourth wall frankie just broke the fourth wall and got the hot toy <laughs> yeah that's basically what happened because i'm impressed i'm so proud I'm so and all proud to my man craig ah <laughs> uh, craig the, the wise, wise old wizard, wizard. <laughs> How are you, my friend? Hello there. I won't do the redneck Jedi. Oh. <laughs> so I go, I make a trip to the mall. So due to peer pressure to get me a Star Wars shirt. And what do they do? Nobody's wearing one. So. <laughs> little, little does Craig, little does Craig know we all secretly contacted each other right. the show. Yeah. And they were like, hey, don't wear anything <laughs> Star Wars this week. <laughs> <laughs> Craig said he was getting one, so... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for leaving me hanging, guys. Appreciate My bad, man. <laughs> Thing is, I did a lot of Star Wars shows this week. Yeah, next week we'll have it. We'll have our stuff clean. I did a lot of Star Wars episodes this week, so it's like all my Star Wars shirts are dirty. <laughs> all right, man. So if this is your first time on the channel. You know, we talk Mando and the latest episode. So if you do not want to be spoiled, we will be talking spoilers, Easter eggs, and all kinds of other stuff. So please, if you haven't seen the episode, please go watch it and then come back and come hang out with us. This is your final warning. And if you're still here, enjoy the show. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's uh, make a round table like we always do. What did you guys think of the latest episode? Chapter 7? What is it? No, episode 7, chapter 15? Yep. Titled The Believer. So after a long car ride, uh, actually it was a really good episode. It actually has a lot more character development than, than I initially thought. Mm -hmm. It was uh, it, it was good. Um, you know, I, I think it, in my personal opinion, I think it was too late in the, too late in the season to throw in a filler episode, but mm -hmm. that's, that's just, that's just my take. You know, obviously I'm, you know, according to you last night on the geek show, I'm the antagonist. So, you know, I've always got to, you know, look at things negative, you know, negative. Well, that's you know. just the Jew in you, bro. It's all right. No, it's not. <laughs> wow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. It's not the Jew in me. It's just called out for being Jewish almost every. I do. I do. I do. You can't help it. You know why? Because I'm like, because I'm like the the empire. We're the mo we're, I'm the empire. We're the most hated people on the face of the planet. No, that's so. the British. Yeah. You're right. I am. <laughs> but no, I th I think it was too late in the season for for a filler episode in my in my opinion, and that's what I right. that's what I felt. So, right. Nilda, I thought it was really good. Um... I kind of agree with Seth. I think it was a little bit too late as a filler episode, but we actually got a backstory into uh, Bill Burr's character. Mm -hmm. And I remember, what is it? Yesterday, Frankie sent us um, a whole like story based off uh, Operation Cinder. Operation so it was something Cinder. that I got to learn about. Yeah. you. Yeah, we'll get into that too. There's, there's uh, in, in the video game, you can actually play through yep. it. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, Craig, I liked think, it. Man? You liked it? All right. Yeah. Craig, what'd you think, bro? I liked it. Uh, I thought it was really good. And uh, just as y'all were talking, I got this like a uh, dumb and dumber. I think, yeah, I had a thought <laughs> as y'all were talking. Uh, 
that like if you, if you took the movies uh, and and the amount of time that uh, Mandalorian is spend, spending and if you like broke it down like a feature film, I bet you in like even the original trilogy that we love, you would have segments where you would go, oh, that was filler. Mm-hmm. You know, so if you kind of think of it as one long continuous thing, it's kind of hard to not have, you know, areas where it slows down a little bit. Anyway, uh, I thought it was excellent. Um, the Some of the uh, cinematography again, uh, which just blew me away. I, I enjoyed uh, Bill Burr's character development. I thought he did excellent and uh, solid effort in my opinion. I didn't look at it so much as a filler. Um, I felt like like the episode was a means to an end because we needed to get to the next point. So he needed yep. to get this information. So that worked. And like you guys said, I feel like the uh, character development from, from Mayfo for Burr's character was, was mm-hmm. awesome. Uh, I like him a whole lot more now. Uh, mm-hmm. And it, the episode as a whole, I think had, had a lot of dialogue and it was actually good dialogue. And um, you know, it was less, less action, but I mean, still was, was actually really good. My first go through, I, if you saw my reaction, I didn't have as much excitement as I did in the previous right. episode. But it's hard not to. Yeah. You're following up, you yeah. know, Boba Fett's action scenes. It's it's very difficult to, to follow that up with something <clears throat> as exciting, I guess. So speaking um, of Boba, speaking of Boba Fett, uh huh. Is it me or did he just do a really fantastic touch up job on his armor? I yeah. want you guys. Okay, what did you guys feel about that? How do you? How do you all like right, I'll tell you what I felt about. I wish. That. I wish they right. just would have left it. Would have just left it the way it was with this, being all patinaed mm-hmm. and everything. This. Yeah. That's the color scheme. Yeah. Chipped. It was too green. It was like Not a forest green. Fresh coat of paint. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. What did they make too a, toyish. Did, did they to make me, like a pit stop yeah. at like the uh, the galaxy version of like Home right. Depot and you know let's get some paint. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing it right, Home Depot, right? To me, it's why, you know, you didn't have time to do that. So why did you do that in the story? Because they didn't explain it. And two, it ruins the Mandalorian, Bright Shiny, and Boba Fett, the grizzled veteran. You know, even though Din's, you know, a grizzled veteran. You understand what I'm saying? That dynamic was there of Shiny New and the 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 old battle. Right, right. And uh, to me, if they had just thrown in a line where, like, Din said nice paint job and you know they crack some joke about it or whatever okay then i could move on but it's yeah. just kind of like why why did you do that yeah yeah i kind of feel the same way like i'm, I'm definitely gonna buy the hot toy when it comes out but <laughs> oh yeah that was the first thing yeah. i thought that's like there's yeah. another figure exactly <laughs> but it's like advertisement for another figure <laughs> what was bugging me about it now is it's probably what they're going to do is they're going to have the uh initial version of him putting the armor back on where it's still worn and then they're going to have the clean version yep. you know the deluxe, I, I the deluxe version. It's gonna have both. Yeah, I, I didn't imagine like all that the they pissed did. off cosplayers that spent hours chipping their costumes, yeah. and now it's like <laughs> fresh coat of paint. Super Shit! Clean. Now we gotta repaint it. Damn it! Yeah. He didn't paint the slave one. I mean, lazy. Yeah, <laughs> ran out of paint. See, but yeah. you know what's funny? Going back to going back to when we saw the slave one, it's uh-huh. like where the hell has the slave one been sitting the whole time? Yeah, we yeah we brought it to the last episode. Yeah, is no. yeah, has it been sitting like in an imperial junkyard? I mean, like they're like, oh, let's do a uh, snatch and grab. You know, yeah. it's like uh, Watto's place. Yeah, 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 yeah. My slave one just isn't fast. It's furious. <laughs> yeah, interesting to see where that would be. At. Um, yeah. So we find uh, Burr's character on a junkyard, which I thought was really cool. You got to see all kinds of different ships and stuff in the back. I think they had to repurpose the AT 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 in the back. I saw an ATST. <laughs> Uh, Tie fighters. Yeah, they Union. were breaking up all the Tie fighters. Yeah, that I thought that was cool. really cool. Yeah, yeah. There there was a slave one in the background. What's up? There was a slave one in the background, right? No, that was the slave one. They were walking. That is a, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, it was it. Right. Yeah. Did you catch a Lasat in there? No. Yeah, I caught it on the second go. That was on cool. the second go. Yeah. So yeah. that definitely tells me that the Ghost Crew will be in there at some point. Yeah. Or probably in the Ahsoka series, but I think they were they're probably testing the visual effects to see how it would work yeah i thought that was cool and i like how they they bring burr back in he is man i, I in the first season i didn't i didn't like him i didn't i like didn't him. feel his character yeah. at all that first season and i don't like that stupid gun that comes out of his back either yeah i didn't like that i didn't like that episode oh, that was kind of cool that was not my that was one of my least favorite episodes last that was kind, that was kind of cool with the gun with the gun coming up from him from him that was kind of cool 
but I like he that. was hilarious, man. His, his little one-liners and jabs. Like I, I, I love when Mando changed suits into the Stormtrooper armor. He's like, oh, what would they say on Mandalorian? <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. You know, I was cracking yeah. up. Um, the dialogue so was, was good. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's, but he's the, like, the does big, your suit smell? <laughs> yeah. The, the, the gloves are still wet. <laughs> the right. gloves are still wet. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> One of the things that I thought that was really cool that they finally showed was how the how the people inside of the Slave One uh, are, are in there when the ship is turning. Yeah, the, I lo- that was so cool. That was mm-hmm. neat. You know, I was like, I've always wondered how they how people sit in that thing, and it's like that was neat to see. Um, it just looked mildly uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they they you they they're just sitting there. The whole thing. Rotates. I did like when it, before they got on there though when. Uh, his character was like, he saw Boba Fett come down and kind of got spooked. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I thought you were somebody else. And then Mando walks out. Yeah, and he comes right out afterwards. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> like that other guy, poof. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Not again. That was that was good. Um, the So they go to, uh, was it Morak, I think is the name of the planet? Yeah. Yeah. So the Morak name, if you guys didn't, I, I looked it up. It, it's actually, they got the name from uh, from another Mandalorian. So, and in the and in the Wikipedia or the Wikipedia for it, they actually write that Mandalorian as as being as force sensitive, although I didn't read anywhere in there otherwise that shows these force sensitive. So I don't know where they got that from, but I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, yeah, that 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 whole that whole scene, like when they get into the truck and they start driving, and then the waves the waves of all the the people start coming out. I was yeah. like, Jesus, man! I was like, okay, I was like, here we go, side quest with waves of enemies to fight. You know, I like, really thought Hondo was going to come out. Hondo. <laughs> when he said right pirates, there. I was like, yeah. oh, please let Hondo be on there. That well, when they cool. were flying like this, I saw some guy with a hat on, and I was like, oh, my God, is that Hondo? And then right. they zoomed into their faces. I was like, damn it. Yep. That <laughs> yeah. is not going to be him. No. Yeah. Yeah, so he went He went through, what, about like four, four or five waves before, you know, the TIE fighters decided to come out and, you know, throw down some assistance. Press R1 <laughs> to activate assistance. <laughs> yeah. I like when he was yeah. fighting though, and he put like he forgets that he doesn't have his armor on. He put his exactly. arm up to block, and it yeah. hurt. Oh yeah, that yeah, hurt. Yeah. So there's yeah. two major G isn't that convenient for the plot in this, and one of them being so he changes the armor, and I went, oh, he's going to be vulnerable. So what do the writers do? The pirates don't have blasters; they have you know, motorized skiffs, they have thermal detonators, but they don't have blasters. Isn't that convenient? You know, that Im- <laughs> that immediately I was going like, uh, you know, okay, moving on. Yeah, shoot him, shoot him now. Let's see what happens. Right. <laughs> so I was like, how's he going to get out of this, you know, being vulnerable? That's going to be the how it should have ended. You're going to see them pull out the right. gun. Done. Huge. Yeah, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna jump off the thing like where Mario, well, like when Mario dies in the game, he's going to be like, eh, just come across the screen. Do the George meme. <laughs> 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 Fucking Disney. <laughs> yeah, I like though that that he would that when they broke the armor piece off, that you know he was recognizing that you know I gotta I gotta do a little bit more than just stand here and take blows. So that was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the fight also, was like, excellent. The yeah, fight I thought the fight was, was really good. good. Yeah. I like his character development there too. It's because he you know obviously hasn't. You know, has this thing of taking off his helmet, but then that conversation between him and Burr, where Burr's telling him, you know, um, that the, that you know, is it that you can't remove your helmet or you just can't show your face, you know? Mm-hmm. So that was that was kind of. Uh, and it is to, it is a very big development in his character because you know, as we'll get to, um, he has to humanize him, right? We got to relate to him, and then there is that code, but it's like what's. I mean, within the code, it's basically it's of the clan above everything else, mm-hmm. right? And so he's doing what he's got to do to get Grogu back because he is part of his clan, right? Yeah. I also think the fact that he's now um, interacted with two different groups of Mandalorians, where they're all taking their mask off, that he's probably getting a little bit more comfortable with the idea of removing his mask. Mm. Yeah, because it probably is a big struggle for him. I mean, when you're taught yeah. one thing your whole life, and now something else is introduced, it is a don't struggle. Don't be a, don't be a follower. Be a leader. Keep the helmet on. Right. <laughs> this was the first time that they uh, that 
Disney Star Wars has approached uh, what I would say a political slash worldview little tidbits, you know, whenever he was talking about what you're born into. And I was yeah. like, oh, I don't go too far. And I thought it was well done. I thought it would, you know, I never went, okay, stop preaching, good move, you know. I thought, right. it was, I thought it was good. It stayed within the story. Stayed yeah. within the story, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. the way you do it if you got something to say. Yeah. It, it, all that whole conversation was done really well. Was that, mm-hmm. I, I couldn't go back and watch the episode. And the thing was, like, when I first saw it, I got done with the episode. I thought, okay, yeah, I kind of felt like a filler at first. And then I, watched, I rewatched it and I laughed as much as I did the first time I saw it. And, and I was like, okay, this is actually interesting. And, they, and it actually had some, you know, plot movement and, um, and then character development the way through. So I was like, the conversations were good. So I was like, this is, this is actually a decent episode. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that was, that was great. They make it to the Imperial. What did you all think about the TIE Fighters? Like, okay, I mean, I get you're trying to help your people, man, but you, you're, they're carrying the Rhydonium that you know is going to explode and you're shooting ahead right. of the, of the skin. I'm like, come right. on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And y'all ain't the best shots. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 <clears throat> Before we move on from the chase, one of the things I'm crit- hypercritical about everything, the scene where he uh, knocked the guy off, I was talking to uh, Frankie about this at lunch, where he knocks a guy off and he hits the wheel mm-hmm. there. I was like, was that CG or was that real? I was like blown away by that two second good. flip. I yeah, was they're like, blurring the line. Yeah. I'm like, you're doing well whenever I'm not going in good CG or good reality because I didn't know. I thought that was that one particular snippet was like, what? Yeah, because they made my wife ask too. She's like, where are they shooting the, the show? It's because it looks like they're outside, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, they're in the volume, but they did a great job with that. Fantastic. So, yeah. Um, so they get to the base. I thought it's kind of interesting that they're now depending on the on the stormtroopers to help them get back in by destroying, uh, um, you know, the, the, the pirates. So that was cool. Right. Well, those are level one characters, so right. They're, <laughs> exactly. they're all right, right? Stormtroopers can take those guys out. It's <laughs> like, to my knowledge, the first time that you go, yes, Empire, you know, saying yeah, today. It really you know? was. I was like, man, that's a, actually a pretty cool writing to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was excited when they got into the base and then like they get out of the truck and like oh, everybody's like high fiving them and like yeah. shaking yeah. hands, like, hey, way to go, guys, you did it. It's like, yeah. We're we're badasses now. We just did it, you know. Yeah. It's like you know, it was, it was right. funny to see that to see that interaction and just you know, um, show a different side of like the stormtroopers and you know mm-hmm. the imperial troops. Like, okay, maybe these guys do have somewhat of a personality and they're just not robotic. Humanity. So, and that was part. And really, you think about it, that was brilliant writing because yeah. it gets you humanizing them and relating to them. And, and for what Bill Burr's character does, it gives weight to what he did. Yeah, because yeah, right. of what was done to them. Yep. Right. Yeah. Right. Yep, yep. I also thought it was kind of funny too when when the before we get into that scene there, but when they were uh, when when the pirates first encounter uh, Din in the in the stormtrooper armor and he shoots the first one and then they look oh, at yeah. him and you you get this look like yo this stormtrooper could shoot us. That's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. This one could hit his target. Exactly. <laughs> An accurate one. Yeah. <laughs> So they get into the base, uh, and and this I thought was a little bit weird. Uh, Bill Bur- or Mayfeld, I think his name is. He, yeah. He walks in to the mess hall because that's where the computer is, which I thought was hilarious that your one computer is inside the mess hall. But um, he goes in there. He recognizes the superior officer. Yes. Uh, yes. But then you know he, he I, I feel like his whole stopping and turning around probably drew more attention to him than. Right. Yeah, it, it there's some like, things, but yeah. uh, to that point. Um, and you go back a little bit further, and that was what me and Craig were talking about today, was I, re- I remember a long time ago that George Lucas was talking about when he was a kid watching shows. Um, he wanted to make movies to where if you took the dialogue out and just watch what's going on, you can mm-hmm. follow the story and it yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And so uh, all these ones that we love now, so look at Rogue One, look at The Mandalorian. If you take the dialogue out, you can tell what's going on just following the visual. So that right, right. there, tell, it tells you a story right there. Right. Yeah, yeah look, I mean, for oh, right. obvious reasons, it's, it's too obvious. You made right. the point but it does move the story along if you just watch it. Yeah, right. you made the point at lunch about the mining helmets. So you, yeah. knew what, you knew what they were without them having to say what they were. Yeah. Right, right. right. And it gives that humanity weight to them, right? Because, I mean, everybody thinks of coal workers. It's like just regular blue-collar blue collar. people. Yep. Right. So... Uh, Mayfeld doesn't want to do it. Din takes over. Right there. And 
<laughs> and then Zinn is forced to remove his helmet, which I think was funny too, because he goes over there and, and Mayfo just told him, you're going to need to remove your helmet. It's going to do a facial recognition. And he does it like with the helmet on, which I'm like, dude, come on. Yeah, because if you oh, just took the it. helmet, if you just took the helmet off and did it the first time, the yeah. officer would have never drawn attention to himself and that would have been, that would have been yeah, it. it. Yeah. But no, yeah, that thing was not shy about uh, yelling out error. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but but no, <laughs> we've got to make it. We've got to make it difficult because this is not the way. Yeah. <laughs> I also think Mandel just removed the helmet after um, Mayfield had told him that everybody has their lines that they, you know, they have to cross until things get a little bit messy. Like right. he finally realized, like, oh shit, we're <clears throat> deep in this. I have to remove this helmet. Right, and then that's where it tells you just, you know. What's more important, this creed or your clan? Yeah. Right. So I have I have a funny thought on that, where um, the the guard finally walked up to him and he was like, "Oh, state your you know state your your number and all that stuff." Your designation. And, uh, yeah, and then you know Bill Burr comes up and he's like, "Oh, we just call him Brown Eyes." So I took Brown that eyes. as like, "Yeah, they're saying Mando's full of shit." <laughs> <laughs> the TV 111 that they picked was a different stormtrooper that was actually yeah. in the Rebels TV show. So that's yeah. pretty cool. I was like, yeah, brown eyes. I was like, yeah, this dude's so full of shit. <laughs> you saw that that how uh, how he felt naked without the helmet. I thought that was pretty good acting. Also, it's like he it was like real talk. uncomfortable. Yeah. Right? I didn't know what to do. Yeah. yeah, he was like, oh shit, they can see my face. Yeah. yeah, he's a very good body language actor. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. But, but damn, that dude's got a killer mustache. <laughs> hey, his he's portrait is great. You know, he's had like, that mustache since uh, what is it called? Narcos. I yeah. know that dude's got a killer mustache, man. Yeah. I mean, uh, Hasbro really screwed that portrait up on him. I mean, <laughs> well, he looked like he got stung by bees. You just missed your opportunity, <clears throat> Craig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I gotta play it. <laughs> Do it. I just want to say, F- you, Disney. <laughs> well, it should be Hasbro. <laughs> um, well, it, it, well, well, no, technically it's not Hasbro, it's Disney because Disney has to approve it I before Hasbro can it. make it. I guess so. Like, I just put anything out, they'll buy it. Um, <laughs> so the Imperial then, officer, Richard Brake, that's the actor. Yeah, killer. he's funny, man. I mean, he has killer. that, he has, he has a real good asshole, you know, yeah. swag he about him. Immediately in, intimidating, unlike. Yeah. <laughs> that other guy that I'm not so high on, but immediately, you know, it's like he had weight to the character. You were like, whoa, you know, they're in trouble. You know, I felt yeah. that they were threatened immediately. Yeah. And then he turns to a lighter, hey, let's have a drink. And it worked in that. I mean, and then they killed him. Yeah. Oh, well, hey, but that whole alert. conversation right there with the, with the thing was perfect. I mean, the whole, uh, it, it, that right there, it showed, it gave us a, a lot of weight to, to Mayfeld's uh, character. Yep. Uh, they brought up Operation Cinder, which if you played uh, Battlefront 2, you can actually play through uh, Operation Cinder happening. Yep. Um, so, you know, when he brought that up, immediately I was like, okay, I, I know exactly what he's talking about. I was, uh, uh, I played a stormtrooper through that. So you can feel what he would, what he probably went through, yep. you know? Same. And, um, and you could see it in his face. Like he mm-hmm. was slowly getting more angry, angry with the guy, right? you know, as he, as the dude was gloating about being, you know, uh, the people that survived and screw those guys that died, you know, they're just mm-hmm. eating themselves and that kind of shit. And that scene does not work if they don't have that dialogue in that vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. But then, I man, when he has- when he shoots him <laughs> in Din's face, it's like, yeah. what it's the like hell did shit. you just do? Yeah. yeah. I also feel like Hus knew that he was, you know, egging on Mayfield and because Mayfield, him. yeah, he kept antagonizing him and then. You know, he kept telling him that the new republic is in complete disarray and we keep growing stronger. And he was just basically saying, like, all those people who died, he's like, screw them. He's like, we just keep getting more people. Like, they didn't mean anything. And that just made Mayfield, like, even more pissed. And then that, that gives the, and then the scene in the hangar when they pull in and everybody's cheering them on gives weight to that because there's normal people and you're, they're going to die. So yeah. that was that. In case you don't know, Seth, I don't know if you played through Battlefront 2 or not, but Operation Cinder, what that was all about is that when, after Return of the Jedi, uh, the Empire uh, was given orders from a, a uh, uh, recording of Palpatine, and Palpatine tells them to basically destroy their Imperial-controlled planets with their yeah, people I, I, and their I played, supporters I played on. it. 
How do you know? I just like. That's like I play video games. <laughs> yeah, I play. Video I know. Games. And like, I, I, just, I was like, I was kind of waiting for Seth to say, "Well, what the fuck is Operation Sin?" Well, no, 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 <laughs> no, because I've played the guy. I've played the game. Okay. But um, right. you know, but uh, you know, it's funny. Like you're just saying, like this guy's like, "Oh, I don't care about these other guys. It's you know, we're just gonna sacrifice as many as we." We need so of course I'm automatically sitting there. I'm like I'm like watching this and I'm listening and of course the first thing that pops into my head, cut off the cut off the head. Two more shall rise. Hail Hydra! You know it's like it's like it's it's like damn it. We got to keep it all in the Disney verse. You know it's like it's 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 like come on. I still get thrown by that the the Imperial officers are not uh, um, uh, British. <laughs> right. I feel like they're more evil when they're British. <laughs> yes, excellent. But to me, he had the same weight as Tarkin, you know, immediately. Yes. For me. So. Well, Tarkin just has dick written right across his forehead. I mean, he also uh, has just, like kind of like the sarcastic, uh, like his sarcastic mannerisms, kind of like Krennic. Mm-hmm. Mm. So the whole key to bad yeah, films Krennic is bad teeth. I yeah, agree. that's basically yeah. what George is saying. The better the teeth, the worse are the teeth, the more, the more villainous the person is. Right, right. I hate yeah. Krennic. <laughs> you hate it, Krennic? I it like great. No, nah. I'll get the uh, get it came off as whiny, whiny, very bitchy. I, like, I Vader should have just finished it, yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, he didn't even use the full hand, right? He just went like this, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he did the thing, he did the thing, he did the thing like this, like, <laughs> I'm squishing your head, yeah, I'm squishing your head, and I think you're in control, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. squishing your head, <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't like that. Craig knows what I'm talking about, yes, yes. Uh, students in the hall. No, kids in the hall. Kids, kids in, the hall. in the hall, yeah. 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 See, Dude, that just gave that, that just gave up my that just gave up my age. It's so, going by what? Twenty five years. More than more than that, probably. More than that. Right. Yeah. More than that. <laughs> kids in the hall. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, and I like that storm after he shoots uh, uh, Hess. I love how the stormtrooper like stops with the with the food in his hand. He's like, yeah. what? what did I just see? <laughs> right. He's like, dude, so, I was just trying to eat. <laughs> Beef that's when that, that's two. when it was, oh. go ahead go ahead no sorry sorry man go ahead beef number two okay the entire hangar is filled with a thousand people and then when it's time for the shootout they're one by one and there's 10 of them i was like come on where did everybody go all of a sudden you know convenient plot writing yeah. that that was my major beef with it I'm like the hangar was just slam <laughs> packed you know and now there's nobody now there's nobody it doesn't matter. They're level 40 characters. They're not hitting them. <laughs> They're level 40. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they but, got their agility like way up. <laughs> no, and it's just that, you know, and, and and this this is the this is the part that kind of aggravated me a little bit. So they escape through the, the window or the panel, whatever it is, over the dam or the waterfall. Uh -huh. And there are other and as they're jumping, you know, making their way across to get off of that. There are other troopers shooting their guns out the window. Why are you shooting your gun? Grab his fucking leg and trip his ass. Hey, I can't understand how he didn't hit them at that close range. Yeah. yeah. Fucking grab his leg and fucking trip him. All you got to do is stick your hand through the fucking thing. Just so, grab him and trip him. Level one. I think I even <laughs> I even said that like during the during the reaction. I'm looking like you're right there. How could you not hit them? Like you're, the gun is out of his foot. You know? Yeah, you did. <laughs> So it's so, like the Wilhelm scream, like copyrighted. Yeah, now. you see that. I guess One yeah. guy fell. Do it, man. <laughs> no, I like that. Looked like they tried to add something new because there was a very distinct scream when that happened. Right. right. I liked how uh, Cara Dune and the other the other chick were up there and they were just picking everybody off. Sniper. So you know, uh, Cara Dune's her rifle that sounded good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't. Go like, back pew, and listen pew. to it. It, it like, had a good sound to it. <laughs> pew 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 pew. They're, uh, not like that one. That was the other one. <laughs> yeah, the uh, sound palette's really well mixed. Very cool. I gotta go back but and listen to that. When Vet came back, when Vet came back, uh, them jumping on that ship. I mean, that whole how they're making the scenes that they're filming now. That just looks great. Yeah, it did yeah. look perfect. It looked perfect. It, I didn't. It didn't look CG at all. And then you know they take off. They blow up the the, the base. And then you have that that chase. And I was like, oh, dog fight. But then I saw him going straight. Up. I know. I, like, I thought it was going to be one. Yeah, but when when that thing came out the back, all I could yep. think of was was Attack of the Clones. Like, <clears throat> Bong. <Yep. like, laughs> I wish we would have had a Top Gun. I wish we had would have had a Top Gun moment where uh -huh. he does like, like inverts 
And then he's like, what are you doing? Foreign relations. We were flipping him the bird. Flipping <laughs> him the bird. Yeah. You know, like, I would have been like, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> but the slave one doesn't strike me as a uh, very like, 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 the, like the razor. Like crest. agile. Yeah, like the Razor yeah. Crest, they had that one scene where they had the dogfight and you saw the ship kind of like angled off and then like dive back down on them and I thought that was dope. I don't see the Slave One doing something like that. Yeah, so Slave it, One. It's it's not uh, engineered. Okay, I mean, the doing? most you're going to get out of it is what you got in Attack of the Clones, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's not engineered to take those sharp turns. Mm -hmm. More like a Y-Wing, more like a bulk, you know, power. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, really, it's just a bad design for a ship to be in a dogfight with anyway. I mean, that's like broadside of a barn, right? It's huge. <laughs> it's not, yeah. yeah, it's not not slick at all. Yeah. It's like tank missile. It's right. just cool looking. <clears throat> I get the Falcons like that, too, and the Falcons don't. Mm -hmm. but, you know. Well, I mean, if you go straight on, though, it's not so big. I mean, yeah, you turn sideways, you're screwed. But, yeah, true. I mean, it's got some kind of angle to it. Either way, you put Slave 1, it's a, a hunk. Yeah, it's a bulky ship. It is. It is. So, um, so then they 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 let Mayfell go, which I I thought that was cool. At the end, I thought they I were going to kill him. Join. I thought he was going to. I thought he was going to join. So. I thought he was going to join them. Like, yeah. like he would. Like you know, he would have had like his last little uh, comedic one liner. Been like, really? You guys are just going to leave me? Like you guys are just going to leave me here? You know, how am I supposed to get back? Or you know, like. Hey, you're free to go. And then he would have walked away and he would have been like, You're free to go. And he would have been like, Um, can I catch a ride? Right. I mean, yeah. That'd have been <laughs> yeah, like, oh, yeah. Can, I, can I get walk? a lift? <laughs> yeah. He just walked off. Like, how the hell do you expect him to get off that planet? <laughs> yeah. True. And it's not like they blew the base up, so there's probably some yeah. more Imperials around. No problem. Yeah. Imperials, exactly. Yeah. And if he and if he's the only one that was on that planet along with those other creatures, well, clearly you're the odd man out. <laughs> uh, he can go back to that village that he saw and you know hang out there for a while i guess yeah <laughs> you know but Thanks, i mean yeah guys. it was pretty what you guys like, think not a whole game? lot to the episode but it had some weight to it the end was awesome oh yeah yes. you yeah. know he gave him the whole taken speech yep you know? yep. <laughs> yep that's exactly where i was going i have a particular set of skills <laughs> yep. i will find you i will find you no, but I love that he basically repeated. Yeah, he did. He repeated what uh, what, what, what Gideon, Gideon said to uh, him in last in last season's episode, right? Yeah, yeah. So I thought that was dope, and and it showed it showed that even though we've already seen it, but I think this like it was a little more amplified that it showed how much he really cares for Gogu. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like you, know. you took my child. I'm going to kill you. Yeah, he's like he's like. I'm, yeah, it's like the whole thing from the Princess Bride. I am Rodrigo yeah. Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> now prepare to die. You know, I don't think like, you, I don't think that means what you think it means. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, but yeah, but it was just awesome though because like basically, long story short, he's like, bro, he's like, I'm coming at you. I'm gonna fuck you up at all costs. I want my damn kid back. And I had to take my you know, damn helmet off because of you. Yeah, <laughs> I broke my code. Yeah, I got dressed up as a stormtrooper. Yeah, I exactly. got called exactly. brown eyes in a mess hall. Yeah, a mess exactly, hall. exactly. You made me. You made me break my code. Now I'm gonna break your neck. Right. <laughs> you know. So to Gideon, I know y'all are tired of me beating this drum, but my wife Do sitting it. on the my wife sitting on the end of the couch or whatever, and she's like, "That's the bad guy." Not. She said, "That's the bad guy," and she's like, "He's like too good looking." So whenever oh you were God. talking about jacked up teeth and you know that the you know Tarkin has a distinctive look, Krennic had a distinctive look, you know, I think that's part of it, you know, that he just doesn't sell the weight of it. She, she has not watched Mandalorian yet. I, I'm going to get her to go back and watch, you know, the series or whatever. But she just threw out the commentary. I was like, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, but if you think about it, that dude's been like the bad guy, like in almost every single. Thing yeah, like he's also, the bad, guy, he's, he's also the bad guy. He's also the bad guy in the boy in, in the boys. In the boys. Yeah. 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 You know, so making bad. Yeah. So he plays it's a like, good bad guy. Yeah. The guy's meant. The guy's meant for it. Like some people are just typecasted for those specific things, and that's just what he what he fits under. He knows how to be the the asshole dick bad guy that everybody wants right. to hate. Have I told yeah. you he's not working for me? <laughs> 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 Greg's like, I'm not convinced. Yeah, he's like, I can't deal with it. You know, he's a, he's a cosplaying Vader. 
<laughs> exactly. That's wow. legit, legit. That's, he uh, is. That's exactly like, what uh, I feel. But like going, but like going back to what I was saying in the beginning of the video, like I felt like this was a filler episode, and that's that's why. Like I felt like I felt like the last minute of that where you know Mando comes on through the hologram and he's threatening Gideon. That scene should have happened at the end of last week's after he blew up the Razor Crest and took um, Gogru. That right. clip would have made perfect sense at that time frame. You know, because then that would have that would have that would have been more heartfelt, in my opinion, because then he's already pissed off because they blew up the Razor Crest. And now he's even double pissed off that they took, you know, the Gogru from him. So like that whole yeah. threatening scene would have made sense at the end of last. Yeah, but he has to find him. Opinion, right? But he has to find him. You can't just like like have a quick, you know. Okay, I know where you're at. I feel like I'm watching the space version of Kung Fu. A Kung Fu. Oh, you know, he just wanders the desert. He just wanders the desert trying to search for his dad or father. And like, there's there's missions and quests along the way that he must complete in order to find. You know, right. it's like that's what I feel. That's what I feel like. That's what I you know. I feel like they just did that whole speech towards the end because that's to give you an idea that something is really about to go down on the season finale. I hope the season finale is longer. I hope at least an yeah. hour. So that's what I was just looking up to see last last season. So season one, the last episode was 49 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, they got to give us And an the hour. other ones were just a little shorter than that. Yeah. So it's probably going to be about the same amount of time for the next I one. I hope so, man. Because we, I, we got 38 minutes on this episode. 28 I, I, I said it, I said it last night, and I'm gonna say it again. Boba Fett is gonna die next episode, Ouch. and and I have a feeling that Mando is gonna wind up taking over the Slave One. I feel that's the reason why they blew up the Razor Crest, and that's how I feel. That's how I feel about that on the whole. I can't, I can't listen to this. I have to ask a question. No, 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 Frankie, get back on. I have to ask this. In my own personal opinion, opinion, I feel like they kind of made Fett into a little bitch. He's taking orders. Like, this is the yeah, guy who, when uh, he was asking Mando, like, what would you like me to do? He he doesn't do that. He tells well, part people of what team. to do. Well, it's kind of his. It's kind of his gig, right? It's his. Yeah. What, yeah. It's his mission. I kind of would like to see him, kind of like turn his back against. Mando. Well, the other thing you got to remember is he is a Mandalorian. Yeah. Well, he said he did. They did a step. I, I have beef with things like that, except for the fact he did say we're in your debt. Right. In the, yeah. Uh, in the one episode where they were yeah. on the. Uh, thing, but I, so. I was just hoping to see a more badass fet. That's all it was. Well, I, I mean, know, after I that last it. fight scene, I have no doubt that he would. Well, that yeah. Ass. But this episode, he was just more like, okay, I'm gonna fly. So he's in. playing his role. I think he, right. I think it's just he's playing his role on the mission. Like if you if you read the the bounty hunter comics at the beginning, he was part of a group that was yeah. that was doing a, a mission, and it and it got uh, it got buffed or, or got you know got screwed up. So then uh, then afterwards, you know, he's working alone, and yeah, he, he's when he's working alone, he, he's not. And that's what he does normally. He, he's not taking orders from anybody, you know. Yep. But he took orders from Vader, and and Vader was paying him. Well, and that's so different I, though. You're, you're getting you're paid. Getting paid. Yeah. Well, this in a sense, he yeah, got paid so, by getting this his is, He's repaying a debt, so yeah, yeah. He already got the payment up front, so he's trying to make good on what he said he would do. <laughs> this is we were, the debt. So, we were talking in the chat of what Seth said. I don't like the writing for Mando to get the slave one. To me, it's like a little bit too forced and contrived. But yeah. whenever they announced all those various spinoff shows and no Boba Fett, I went, mm, "He's dead." Think so. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you, he's going to eat it. He's going to eat it in some way, shape or form. And he's going to wind up taking over the slave one. Otherwise, what was the point of blowing up the razor crest? Yeah. And, and it's going to give a book into the Sarlacc, you know, laughable death. He's going to die a heroic death, you know, in the last okay. dying words or but, take the ship. But hey, I'm going to, I can't gonna, talk to these people anymore. That, I don't like it. I didn't say I liked it. Listen, I don't want him yeah. to die. Frankie, I don't want him to die either, but I'm just stating I'm just stating the facts. I mean, listen. I know. It's how, possible. However, no. however, mark mark this time right now, 41 minutes and 13 seconds into this episode, okay? 
Boba Fett's gonna die. The armor will be saved. And they're gonna fit make somehow make the armor to fit Gogru. And Gogru is gonna become no. half the half uh. half Mandalorian and, and half and half uh. force sensitive. And he's gonna rock okay. he's gonna rock that suit. Yo, I guarantee Frankie. it. Frankie, hey, is that stuff no, legal in Florida? Frank, yeah. <laughs> Seth smokes some real, real fucked up shit, bro. All right, and I gotta talk to this guy on a regular basis. Is the, you know, so at the bottom. Me. Go to at the bottom. Frank, Frankie has left the chat. I'm saying I'm gonna go with Frankie. All right, I give the helm to the wise wizard. You can end the episode, bro. It's because I'm not talking to that man anymore. <laughs> Listen, this don't fall Two don't fall straight of stupid shit that I gotta hear from you. Don't fault me for thinking. <laughs> hey, don't fault me for thinking outside the box. Oh, George, why do you think I left the episode last night watching you guys? <laughs> Half of the shit that Seth was saying. Oh my god, <laughs> you know, Boba Fett and the stuff. We're gonna get yeah. all of it. We're gonna get all of it in there. All of that in that one. So, what do we think about the next episode? So, what do you? What do you? Do we I see the Jedi? Stuff go down. Down. I want to see, see a the battle. Jedi? I don't think Boba Fett's going to die just yet in the next episode. No. I think they may carry him on to the next season. I don't think we get yeah, to see Thrawn. Thrawn. I don't think yeah. we're going to get to see Thrawn either. Just we may of, get uh, to see Thrawn maybe a minute before the show ends, and that's going to leave us with the... Oh! Well, so the reason I don't think we get to see Thrawn, unless they go... It depends on what they're going to do with Ahsoka, because if you look at her logo thing for her show, mm -hmm. it looks like a star chart. So it seems yeah. like they're still searching. Mm -hmm. So... Right. But found. it also said that the Ahsoka show is supposed to be in the same time frame as the Mandalorian. Right. So. Well, now, maybe a hollow searching. image or something. Yeah. Could I be like, think, a hollow, like they did with uh, Maul at the end of Solo. Yeah. Something like that. I think next week's episode is going to end with them. They're going to be on, they're going to be on Moff, Moff Gideon's ship and they're going to be searching around and whatnot. And then they're going to be trying to, they're going to rescue Gogru and they're going to try to find a way off the ship. And unfortunately they get like cornered by like a bunch of troopers. And then the Jedi that Gogru, Gogru reached Rogue out to is going to show up and he's going to be like, Hey, did anybody order a Jedi? And then this you're going to see the light, the light, the lightsaber come on. And then they're going really to, they're going to fade, they're going to fade to black. They're going to fade to really, black and that's how they're going to leave it. Seth should really make a movie. I, you know. Every every time he speaks about what they what's gonna happen, I feel like it's a bad porn. You I'm know, waiting for. You know, did somebody call a Jedi? And he dropped his robe. That, 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 that's what I see when Seth was. <laughs> now I was about to make the opposite point that I hope that they don't uh, rescue Grove Grove Group. I still can't get used to the name. Whatever his fucking name is, right. it's baby because Yoda. you automatically. Yeah, the child. You automatically have a built-in cliffhanger with the fact of what's going to happen. You know, there. So off season, you know, you're auto, you ought you already have that built in of what's going to happen. You know. Yeah, I think I, I would I would like to see that they don't save him. Because yeah. Then you get like a, an Empire Strikes Back type of feel where it's right. like, that guy's got to win in the second in the second. Uh, mm -hmm. You can't you can't resolve that in two episodes. To me, that yeah. would be. Uh, be too quick. Or well, one episode, really. I mean, him, they got to go yeah. to yeah. wherever they're going. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And you then think yep, they get him out. Uh, Gideon? Think Gideon's going to finally get it? Oh. Kill Gideon? Gideon. Yeah, like, please. Gideon will, only, Gideon will only get it if Thrawn shows up. I think that Gideon I mean, you will only get him. it. Yeah, yeah then you're, if, if Gideon trauma. dies, then you got to have a new bad guy that's going to come out. So that that's that's going to be the case. But I think that the only way that Gideon could possibly die on this one is if Bo Katan comes back, which I would love to see Bo Katan again. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. I think, think before they, I, th I think before they before they make the plan to um, to engage uh, Moff Gideon's ship, he you're going to see you're going to see Bo Katan come back with the other two with the other two troopers. <clears throat> it's going to be Boba Fett. It's going to be the other, the Gina, uh, Gina Carana, uh, what a Cara Dune. Um, it's going to be all these, all these characters that help them throughout the thing. And you're going to see one mass, one mass gathering invade, invade did, the ship. Did Bo-Katan tell uh, Mando that, that she's searching the Darksaber? I know she said it behind him, but I don't know if he heard it while, while they was trying to pull the ship up. No, well, he they didn't. 
Yeah, well, they yeah. said she said she was looking for it when they invaded. When she they said invaded he has that, something he of has. Mine. Yeah, that's all he, he knows. Has something of mine. Okay. But okay. surely he knows what the dark saber is, right? I don't know. He doesn't no. seem to know a lot about Mandalorian history. No. Only what his clan has told him. Mm. So, because I mean, just the whole thing of that, you know, the 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 Jedi were ancient uh, wizards that we fought back in the day, right? Or, you know, yeah, force uh, uh, magic wielders. It it just it, it's amazing to me that you that you grew up on Con he grew up on Concordia. He said, right? This, this is where right. he came from, and and you're that close to Mandalore that you don't know your the own history. So. Hmm. Well, how much history did you pay attention to in high school? <laughs> Not <laughs> Good enough. point. Good point. I, I know more world history than I do American history. <laughs> yeah, good, good point. Um, hmm. yeah, it's going to be interesting, you know, to say the least. I can't wait to see what happens next week, and I hope to God it's at least an hour. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they'll they make it at least close to that. Yeah, I mean, the last one should be like a mini movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. It should gonna, be at least an hour and 20 minutes, Tom. They're going to end us with half-hour episodes all, all uh, season. They're going to end on a filler episode. Oh, filler God. Episode. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're going to get there, and the whole episode is going to be, how do we open this door? And that's going to be the episode. <laughs> and then they're gonna, and then you're going to hear George going, fuck you, Disney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So It didn't hit. There, nope. 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 You're okay. And I just want to say, f you, Disney. <laughs> that's not that is any time. That, 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 that's going to get an email from Disney going, dude, uh, what's, I know. what's up with the F bomb? <laughs> that, that, that right there is my vote for sound clip of the year. Yes. 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 Next time you go to Disney, it's going to be right there at the entrance. I know. They're not going to let me in. <laughs> if you see this man, let him in. You Don't let him in. And he's going to walk up and he's going to be like, fuck you, Disney. Want to legend status in one one quote? No, nah, they'll have like F you, George. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, my name. <laughs> he scans his tickets or whatever he's got, and it's like <laughs> F you, George. <laughs> <laughs> access denied. Access denied. <laughs> That's hilarious. That better not happen. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. That's about it, man. Thanks, guys, for joining us for another episode of the Star Wars Chat. Stay tuned till next week as I as I do the reaction to the final episode as well as our chat. That'll be Friday and hopefully Saturday night when it comes when the actual chat comes out. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and as always, guys, keep it marvelous and may the force be with you.